What is up everybody, this is JP here. Today's video is going to be about the dumbbell pullover and how it is not my favorite exercise, even though it might be a lot of your guys' favorite exercise. Now I wanna preface this video by saying, if you really like the dumbbell pullover and it increases your adherence to go to the gym or it fits your individual program, then keep doing it. I'm not, meant, I'm not here to try and knock this exercise for everyone doing it. But I think a lot of people are doing this with the wrong intentions or they just don't have full knowledge of this exercise and when they do maybe they'll make a better decision about a, a different exercise that can pretty much target the same muscles that the dumbbell pullover does but in a better way um, when given that knowledge for you guys which is what i'm going to talk about today so the dumbbell pullovers main reason why people do it is to target the chest and the lats okay now the dumbbell pullover is mainly shoulder extension okay it's extension at the shoulder so it's essentially this action right here going down resistance in this motion with a dumbbell in both hands now a lot of people do this exercise for the chest and i'm going to start by tackling that first now the main function of the chest or the, the chest has a lot of functions but the main two functions is going to be horizontal adduction pretty much this uh, push-up, bench press, or flexion of the shoulder. Your chest also does internal rotation, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. So the main two functions that people do in the gym primarily is horizontal adduction and flexion at the shoulder, okay? That's the primary functions of the chest. Now, the lower portion of the chest, the costal portion or the costal head, will aid in extension of the shoulder, which is pretty much what a dumbbell pullover does. But the rest of the chest, the bulk of the chest, is an antagonist to the lats in this function at the shoulder. So the chest is mainly going to do this and this, while the lats are going to do this, okay? It's pretty simple when you think of it in terms of that. So the dumbbell pullover anatomically is not a good exercise for the chest. Now, a lot of you may say, well, I'm squeezing the dumbbells when I'm doing it. Okay, that's fine. You can isometrically squeeze the dumbbells, but there's no actual resistance going against horizontal adduction that's wanting to pull your arms apart. You need some resistance that's forcefully trying to pull your arms apart, which is forcing you to essentially horizontally adduct to squeeze the chest to work the chest in that manner. So there's no actual resistance there either. You're just doing it isometrically. So again, there will be a lot of replacements there. So if you're doing this for a chest exercise, I'm already going to say that I don't believe that this is a great chest exercise at all. It's not gonna work the chest directly much at all. Um, now, if you're doing this for lats, which a lot of people are doing, and I think would be the smarter uh, implementation of this exercise for the lats, I still think that it's not a great exercise for the lats for the main reason being is the range of motion involved in this exercise. When you're at the top portion of this movement, there's essentially no uh, uh, tension being applied to the lats, okay? There's no mechanical attention being applied since the resistance is going straight down, straight through the shoulder socket. A lot of you can hold this top position at a dumbbell pullover for a very long time, and the further and further and further you go back, the harder it's going to be on your lats. So if you tried to hold this essentially way out there, way out there so your arms are fully lengthened, where the moment arm is longest, the moment arm is going to be the distance from the shoulder and the resistance. When the moment arm is longest, it's going to be the hardest on your lats. So when you think about it, the further and further and further you go out, the harder it's going to be. And again, when you really gauge and look at the range of motion or the portion of the range of motion where it's hardest, it's not very large. It's not very large at all. A good alternative and a much better alternative, in my opinion, is going to be straight arm pull downs on a cable machine. Now, I love this exercise for a couple of reasons. One, it's it has higher specificity when it comes to pulling movements. A lot of people, when they work their lats, they're going, they're going to be doing rows, they're going to be doing pull-ups. So when you're doing a straight arm pull down at a cable machine, you're going to be standing so specificity is higher. So that's one small benefit to it. Now, the biggest benefit to it is going to be the range of motion. The range of motion and the work being done, remember the technical definition of work is force times displacement in physics, is going to be much, much, much larger on this exercise on a straight arm uh, pull down uh, versus a dumbbell pullover. So if your main goal, again, like I said, is to target the chest, you shouldn't really be doing the dumbbell pullover in my opinion. You should mainly be doing 
Um, again, it should be mainly for the lats. And if you're trying to target the lats, when you look at the work being done in the range of motion, the straight arm pull down is much more beneficial. On top of this, when you do a two arm straight, up, st straight arm pull down, that's a very good exercise, but you can even increase that and make it a little bit more beneficial by doing a single arm straight arm pull down. What this is going to do is gonna let you be able to get your arm way behind your body, which is going to increase the range of motion even more and is going to get the lats contracted that much more to get them that much shorter. So again, you're taking it through a full range of motion. Range of motion does matter. and. When you're thinking about this too, when you're implementing this into your program, a lot of you are implementing this as like an accessory movement for a hypertrophy for some other reason. Most of the time it's hypertrophy or some other benefit. So if you're doing this for hypertrophy, you gotta remember that when there's more work being done, that's going to be better for the muscle. Again, you're not trying to do these short, choppy, overloaded reps, which again, it's essentially what a dumbbell pullover is in my opinion. So to kind of recap, if you like the dumbbell pullover for reasons, fitting to you, again, I don't know every individual who does this, then keep doing it. If you find it fun, then keep doing it. Doing something because it's fun is a very good reason to keep doing it because it increases your adherence. But if you're strictly doing this because you want good chest work, not go for the chest, or if you want good lat work, again, I really strongly, strongly advise you guys to try a straight arm pull down or a single arm straight arm pull down and you'll realize real quickly that it's just a much better exercise. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.